Hello guys, welcome to another video tutorial on HTML5 and CSS3. In this video I'm going to show you how to start uh, creating the drag and drop uh, feature on HTML5 in your browser. So I deleted a few things here in the code and we'll start from uh, from scratch basically. In the body section the first thing I want you guys to do is to create a div ID so I'm going to show you how you can basically how you can grab with your uh, mouse grab an image and uh, drag it into other section of the web page and there um, and then you can also uh, drag it back okay so back and forth you'll be able to drag your image pretty pretty awesome feature um, I think we did uh, we did uh, that feature in jQuery if I remember correctly but this is only using a few functions on JavaScript and uh, HTML5 so let's let's continue creating the, the div let's create a div ID let's call it div1 and uh, for now let's leave it that way and now let's create another div sorry let me close the div let me create another div div ID equals div2 and close div now between the first div I want to put my image so let's type image src uh, equals you have to grab my image and put it and put the image in your test.html uh, directory near to that file and I have already my image ready which is the HTML5 GPG and let's uh, let's give it a ID let's call it drag one let's give it a width of uh, check 2888 and a height of 31 okay and down here in the div 2 uh, let's leave that for now okay so we have our image ready let me save this and now I want to create a CSS a few CSS properties for the divs but I'm gonna create uh, an internal CSS um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the CSS properties in the same file of HTML you know you can do that uh, we already did some external using the external file of CSS file but I'm gonna use um, I'm not gonna use an external file so in this case the first thing you have to type is style type in here we type text dot CSS and close style now between these tags you can start typing um, oops forgot here you can start typing your uh, CSS properties so let me type div1 and also the same properties for div2 so I can put it that way and here the first thing I want to do is float to the left with 100 pixels height 35 pixels let's give it a margin 10 pixels padding 10 pixels a border one pixel solid and black okay that's it uh, let me check this out let me run this in Chrome and let me check this 
and okay I did something wrong let me check oh of course I forgot to put uh, to separate these we need to uh, to put two selectors or two IDs in the same for the same properties we need to put a comma between them okay save that let me run now this okay so this is what we have now and I'm gonna drag this image that you can see here drag it and put it in here okay and we'll be able to uh, drag them back okay bring him back so as you can see I'm not able to do nothing right now we only have two squares here in the image so to make that work let's go back we have to start doing some JavaScript and you already know that to create or start doing some JavaScript we will need the uh, script and close script uh, you can still th do the type um, text blah 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 if you want to or you can leave it this way script script okay HTML5, HTML5 will recognize the script as JavaScript um, now in here the first thing we have to create is a function and this function it's gonna called um, low drop parenthesis and a parameter that you should use now is the event parameter so let's type EV and now we use the parameter EV dot and the method or the property sorry the um, the function that already probably you know from uh, the jQuery uh, tutorials which is the prevent default parenthesis okay this function what it does is to allow uh, us to use the um, on drag over uh, event that we will later I'm going to explain you how to use it but this basically will uh, will make it possible for us to drag and drop the um, the element or the image in this case um, basically this is saying we are using the prevent default to prevent the default um, methods in the browser to work and normally the browser doesn't allow you to grab uh, images um, and drag and drop them so basically I'm using here a prevent default uh, so it prevents defaults um, we can say laws or functions in the browser and that way we will be able to use um, whatever function I'm going to use next to drag and drop okay so let me type a new function And the next function I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to call it uh, the drag function. I'm going to call it drag. We have to use the parameter ev for the event as well. And now we're going to type event. And we're going to use the data transfer dot set data. Parenthesis. And now we need uh, two parameters. The first one is text. This is the type of um, the type of data we are managing, and uh, we have several type of data uh, types of data we can put in here. But in this case, we will use the text data. And next, we use uh, event target ID. Okay. And this event target ID is the ID of the image we are targeting, or the Im the um, the target that we want, uh, and the element that we want to grab, or we will be able to drag, okay. And the web page. This data transfer dot set data. Basically, what it does 
is um, is it sets the data type and the value uh, of the dragged uh, element. Okay, so now we have the we are preventing the browser to stop us for to drag and drops. Uh, images in the web page and we have a function also that identifies what uh, will be dragged now we need another function to drop to create the action that drops the image in the square so to do this we create a variable let's call it data and this is equal to uh, the event data transfer dot get not set but get data and this will get the information or the gets uh, the element that we are dragging and it has a parameter which is the text okay the type of uh, element we are dragging and now we type ev target type append and remember this from uh, JavaScript this would append a child if you don't remember you can go back to uh, the JavaScript tutorials make sure you learn all this otherwise this will be a little, a little bit confusing for you um, and in, in the parenthesis we type document dot get element uh, that's correct by ID you already know and this has another uh, parameter here which is data okay now this will append the child uh, to the targeted uh, box and uh, basically this will grab document dot get element by ID data which is the ID that we are working basically it's the image okay uh, now down here sorry after that line of code we type EV again and we type uh, prevent default okay make sure you type this as well so it will uh, prevent um, some uh, some other some other errors from the um, the browser if you don't type this this will not work okay uh, now here in the body we have to type in the div one uh, div one let me check yeah in the div one we have to type a new event called on drop and the on drop will be equal to the drop function and make sure you type event okay inside uh, the uh, parenthesis as a parameter now also in this div1 we also type another uh, event which is the on drag over this will be equal to the allow drop event okay this basically um, remember that this had the prevent default so this will allow us to um, drag and drop and that's basically it now in the second div in the div 2 we do the same thing now we can grab all this copy it remember I told you we will be able to drag and drop um, uh, back and forth so we will need to use the same functions in one div and and the other so it will work um, now let me check yeah that's it now in the image after these properties of uh, width and height uh, we need to type a new property called draggable equals and type true okay this is very important otherwise it will not work and another thing is you have to type the on drag start equals and now we type the drag function and event as a parameter 
Um, and I think that's uh, that's all. Is it? Uh, Dragable, Dragable True, uh, obviously, as the name says, it will make possible to drag the image. On Drag Start, it will do basically the, it will make possible uh, to start uh, dragging. As you can see, I referenced the drag event, which is this one here. It will basically grab and target the ID. It will make it draggable. So let's see if this is working. Let me run here, Chrome. Okay, here it is. Let me grab this and boom. Awesome. Drag it back and there it is. Okay, awesome feature, HTML5, awesome technology with um, awesome cool effects. Okay, guys, um, if you have any questions, just send me a message or post your comments and questions in the section below. See you guys later.